The couple decided to lend a helping hand after witnessing the plight of informal settlers living close to the B1 highway on which they were traveling. The police human network in conjunction with officials from the Kitmanshop municipality will identify specific beneficiaries for distribution. Our office was approached yesterday by tourists that was coming from Karasberg site, Swedish tourists, and uh, they passed uh, the, the B1 road whereby they saw KRS location and they saw the plight of the people that are residing in the location. So they approached our office with um, request of donating food parcels or whatever it might be. So upon that one, I took the two tourist people, couple, they were a couple indeed. So I took them to the municipality, whereby I talked to Ms. Max and uh, they were given a list of uh, items that uh, perhaps maybe they can provide. So as you can see there, um, they bought food puzzles in an amount that is having a tail slip there and uh, they come and uh, drop the things off to us today. Inspector Jeanette Kwako says of the police human network, which will oversee the donations distribution, it does to say. Let's assist those who can benefit in this round and then we, we hope and pray for another donor or a good Samaritan to, to, to come up with the same gesture again. Kwako says express the community's gratitude to the Swedish couple for their generosity. Lukman Klutter, NBC News, Kirtman's work.